Welcome back to Obscure Gaming, the most obscure of all my segments, as we take a look at games you may have never heard of, or I'll forget to make one of these for about two years. Either way, today we're taking a look at that classic horror game, Resident Evil for the NES. Now, the game opens on a cutscene-ish type thing with a terrible song that we'll talk about in a bit and text I can't read, uh, but the gist of things is you and your friends are hanging out in a forest when suddenly you're attacked by zombie dogs and run to the nearest abandoned mansion, and once there, it's your job to uncover the secrets of said mansion uh, and Umbrella Corp making a lot of big assumptions considering I can't read any of this, but I played the first game, so I'm, pre I'm pretty sure this is mostly what happens. Upon starting the game up proper though, you'll be greeted with Jill just standing there with uh, what is supposed to be two other completely different characters. You don't get a choice of playable characters, sadly, uh, with them opting to just go with Jill's scenario, but Chris will show up when the story calls for it. And uh, after a little bit of dialogue that, again, I, and I can't stress this enough for so much of the dialogue, as in all of it in this game, can't read it. Uh, the game turns you loose into the demake of fear. Now, what can one expect from a demake of Resident Evil? Well, a more or less one-to-one -one mansion recreation with all of the puzzles from the original game. Uh, it incorporates most, if not all, the enemies from the original, uh, and even avoids the bootleg staple of messing up the gameplay by lifting its gameplay from another Resident Evil game, Gaiden. And while said combat style does not set my world on fire by any means, it works, and it was a smart addition on the developer's part. And all of this is very impressive, or at least I thought so and consulted no one about my opinion, but adapting all of this into an NES version, um, just a great effort, I think. Although, I should say, uh, without any prior knowledge of the first Resident Evil, I feel like this game becomes uh, a bit more confusing and not very fun. As if I didn't know what certain rooms held certain puzzles and what I had to do to solve them, there's no way I would be able to A, identify most rooms as some are really vague in their representation of what they're supposed to be, and some of the key items can be really hard to make out, and if you add on top of that the fact that you can't read it, you have absolutely zero context for the puzzle, so I... I I can't see how that's much of an enjoyable experience. Uh, hell, uh, in terms of this game's enjoyability, it mostly comes from the novelty of, oh look, it's a remake of Resident Evil without voice acting. <laughs> um, but, you know, once you get past that charm, it just makes me want to play the actual original game. Uh, still, kudos where kudos are due. Uh, now the visuals are okay. They get the job done. Uh, you know, sometimes I can tell what's going on, uh, but they could be better in areas because sometimes I don't know what's going on, and that's an issue. I will say, though, I thought the demade menus and enemies looked pretty good. I hit something by accident while recording that. And while the sameness of the bootlegs mansion floor design kind of hurt my eyes after a bit, uh, you know, as I said, it gets the job done except for the parts that don't. The sound design is not good, I would say, uh, though really the only serious offense here is with the music. Uh, the opening music that you will hear as soon as you boot the game, quite, it sounds like noises thrown together, no clue if this is supposed to be a pre-existing song or if it's literally just noises thrown together. Uh, if someone could tell me, I would appreciate it. Yeah, I have no idea what's what was going on there. Uh, also, I'm sorry for having you... I, I feel sorry for making you listen to that. 
Uh, though if anyone can recognize it, let me know, please. Um, then uh, yeah, the next, uh, I, I would say, the next main song you'll hear is the mansion music. Which, you know, at first sounds kind of pleasant and relaxing. Maybe a hint of spooky in it seems appropriate. I'm, I want you to listen to this little segment here. This is, let's say, a, a full loop. And, you know, that's that's not bad, I would say, honestly. Um, although, the problem with it is, uh, after that loop, it just loops over and over and over again, and it never stops. Ever. Like, it's, it's drilled into my brain, because it does not stop, unless you get into, like, a battle or something. Which, uh, you know, the battle music is pretty good. I wish I knew what it was stolen from, uh, but it, you know, it's not bad. I wouldn't want to listen to it constantly, like the mansion music, but uh, the otherwise, uh, it's fine, I guess. All the sound effects are kind of your standard, eh, hit noise, pick up item noise, just, uh, you know, nothing worth noting. Nothing that's gonna hurt your ears, like that first song I played. I should also say, I guess, although this may go without saying, that the game lacks the amazing, and I'm saying that unironically, um, voice acting of the original game, which I just, I miss so much, and it could have added uh, just so much to this game, especially in the language department. I understand a couple things, um, but of, of course, the technology's not really there. And if it somehow was, I don't think it would sound very good. Um, but yeah, I, I will have to dock points. Even though I don't give anything points in the segment. But I'm taking some off. Uh, all in all, though, I think that if you like Resident Evil and you're into D-Makes, and again, you really like Resident Evil and have played it and know what you're doing, this is something that's worth checking out for at least a little bit. I didn't have a ton of fun with it, but it's something you can theoretically enjoy, maybe. Um, if you've never played Resident Evil, you don't don't play this. Or, or, you know, you could play Resident Evil. There's that. But don't, don't start with this. You're going to be lost. It's not going to be any fun. Also, the music hurts ears. Or do whatever you want. I don't control anything. Um, this has been Obscure Gaming, though. Thank you for watching. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Enslate. Hope you enjoyed the new Obscure Gaming. I know it's been a real long time since the last one, and I wish this one could have been longer, but there's only so much I could squeeze out of this topic before, you know, you're beating a dead horse. But, uh, spe speaking of thanking people... Uh, work that in smoothly. Also, I have social media stuff. If you like, you know, my videos, consider supporting me on Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, I like thanking people who support me on Patreon. So let me just say, uh, thank you, Fish and Maji and Michaela and Rage Magic Carp and Rabbit and Ladybird and Skinny Seven Twenty and Shadow and uh, Bradley Harder. And lose my place slightly. And Clodek, Fernando Silva, Glad Goku, Hey It's Brad, Lily Starflame. By the way, thank you all very much for supporting me on Patreon. I, I greatly appreciate it. And I'm very thankful. So thank you, Michael Holder II, and Nolan Billings, and Cedars PhD, and the Epi Men. Still want to call out the Pie Men. Euk, a pickle. I find pickles, you. On, on, a, on a real note. Not you, a pickle. Just pickles, you know, in general. Uh, th thank you, anal bag and an evil ghost. Oh! Uh, 
actually, Resident Evil Spooky. I don't know if ghosts can scare me this time. Uh, uh, thank you, Angel Bane and uh, Anthony Sacedo, Astro Antonio, Orange, Butter Pecan, Captain Loser, uh, Creepy Chin Clive. That's a good name. Uh, the Blue Fool, Dark Shadow Heart, uh, Derek Chapman, Dez, AK, Is That So? Uh, Efri684, Finn the Human, Joe Mortfolio, John Mayer, Weatherman, John, Paul Hoare, Keitaro, Lauren, Lenny Barks, Link the Eight, uh, Ludwig, uh, Miss K and the Cool Kids, uh, Mythical Munchkin, Nikki Lehman, Orfano the Adoptable, Someone Adoptable, uh, Painful Choice, Perrin, Quack, oh, I also want to thank Kiki, uh, uh, th uh, th thank you for being a patron. Um, and, uh, Radar, and hold on, and thank you, Sarah Salmon, Color, Color, and, and, Color, and, 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 I'm sorry, Color, and, and, damn it, I'll get it next time, uh, uh but thank you, Sarah. And thank you, Scarlet Robin. Hope you're well. Thank you, Scott Labar and Sean Cartar and Sir Doodles a lot. Skippy from that podcast. Slickster Max Tastica, SMK, Snooper, Soft Shell, The Class Changing Taco, The Prince of Ravens, The Wheels and the Bus Go Da Da Da, uh, The Club Rocker, The Game Merchant. Thank you for uh, running the Discord Merchant. Uh, the Red Nine and RE4, we're, we're like a week away from, or two weeks away, or a week away from the Red Nine having to prove itself in the new remake. I hope it can. Uh, thank you, Tim Klomp, uh, Trevor Marquez, Zachary Alexander. Um, I, I didn't see Storm on here anywhere, but thank you, Storm. Um, uh, and th thank you, everyone who... Uh, supports me on Patreon. It's it's greatly appreciated um, that uh, not only people still watch my videos after all these years, um, but that some people care. Um, that that means the world to me. Um, thank you again for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I love you all. And uh, I'll see you again next time on Enslaved.